All over America, armored trucks operated by Garter World have been hurtling out of control. They plunged into ditches, burst into flames, and smashed into cars. Garter's armored truck business operates from Boca Raton, Florida. Bank of America, Target, Starbucks, and other businesses you probably see all the time have used its services. Since 2011, the company's revenue from its armored truck business has soared. Despite that, the company has struggled to keep its trucks in good condition. Some have lacked seatbelts or even seats. The trucks carry millions, but workers sometimes have had to use rope or other items to hold the doors shut. This is Garda driver Angie Blevins. She gave us video she took of her truck in Louisville, Kentucky. So this is what my steering wheel looks like when it's straight. There's a rubber band holding up the gun port. There's our weather seal. The tube is gone. This does not while I'm driving. I love it. I've been like shaking. Drivers told us pressure on the job can be intense. This document shows a driver getting in trouble for going too slow. He responded, I have done the best that I can. Red light cameras from around Orlando show Garda trucks running lights again and again. The company has let workers drive after multiple crashes. A Garda database shows that at one point, Garda trucks were averaging 100 crashes a month. Over two and a half years, 320 people were injured. We searched news reports. Since 2008, at least 19 people were killed in Garda crashes. The truck side door came open. The guard there was ejected and killed. When he and a Garda armored truck collided in Arlington on Collins near Six Flags. One person was killed and one person was injured. It's an elderly man in his 80s, dead after he was hit by an armored car in front of this window. In 2015, Garda hired Yvonne Butici just out of college. The pay was 11 30 an hour, and the former college athlete kept a second job. Companies are legally required to track and limit how many hours drivers work, including second jobs. One day, in 2015, Yvonne started at 7.30 a.m. and worked 10 hours. Then, she waited tables until 1 a.m. She was back at Garda by 5 a.m. While on the road, she texted her friends, Text me when you're awake. I'm falling asleep driving. Ten minutes later, her truck veered into the oncoming lane and smashed into a Prius. The driver, a hospice nurse on her way to work, died instantly. Yvonne's co-worker, Alan Stagg, was also in the truck. He was ejected in the collision and killed. He'll never see his daughters march in the band. He'll never see them fall in love and get married. Graduate. I'm just so eternally grateful that the last words I said were, Alan, I love you. Love you too, Mom. Garda denies its trucks are unsafe. Its communications team said the company has industry-leading safety standards and is heavily invested in its fleet. To read our whole story, Go to tampabay.com slash Garda Trucks.